Hey everyone, good morning, and today we're at the Oklahoma City Zoo, the OKC Zoo, and uh, we're gonna have a check out everything the zoo has to offer, from the animals, the exhibits, anything else. I'm the legend, joined as always by Molly. Let's go check out the zoo. So as soon as you enter the zoo, the first thing you're hit with is a uh, kind of this connection of duck ponds. Some big swans in there too. Look at that guy. Let's kick off the tour of the zoo by checking out Sanctuary Asia, the big eye. I think it's the newest exhibit at the zoo. Look at the baby elephant. Aww. And then uh, some very, very large elephants as well. It's a really nice elephant exhibit they have. It's uh, very big, lots of different areas. And there's a lot of elephants in one area. Here's another shot of that family there. Found out the little guy, uh, Kai, six months old, born in October 2018. So, so tiny. And I believe that is probably the sister there that was born in 2014. So uh, kudos to the Oklahoma City Zoo. They're doing a great job of breeding these uh, Asian elephants. And oh man, that's a big animal too. Holy cow. Y'all. They do have a couple of these signs telling you how to like how you tell the elephants apart. And what I really like, they have their favorite enrichment. Like Candula loves giant tractor tires. Whereas Rex really likes splashing in the waterfall. Here's a different side of the elephant enclosure. Uh, absolutely massive. I mean, that elephant looks small because it's so far away. Only two elephants on this side, though. There's that guy with the rear view over there. Always good to see when the elephants get a lot of room. They're, uh, you know, when people talk about, you know, the pros and cons of animals in captivity, one of the most controversial animals is the elephants. And uh, definitely appears here at the Oklahoma City Zoo that they have a lot of room for their elephants. And he's grabbing stuff out of that. Oh, he's grabbing stuff out of that bag. Neat. I believe once or twice a day they do do a presentation with the elephants. Probably some training behaviors and that kind of thing over in this pavilion. And here is a third giant elephant enclosure here. And this one's got tusks. Look at the elephant playing with its enrichment toy. Here is a look at the elephant's indoor home. Uh, very, very modern looking. I got a little bit of a Jurassic Park kind of vibe with <laughs> some of the gates. If you're counting along at home, this is the fourth giant elephant area. No elephants in here, though I believe there's a rhino like all the way on the other side. The elephants aren't the only animal in the Asian sanctuary section. You've also got this cool exhibit with a tanuki. They're really adorable. They're uh, like raccoon dogs. You've also got a couple of uh, above the tanukis. You've got some lang. Uh, man, I forgot the name of these guys. I'll tell you in a moment. And right in front of those, a turtle. I love it. There we go. That's a Francois Langer. There is a Komodo dragon. Posing. This big bird is a cassowary. And Molly, what does it remind you of? Kevin. Kevin from Up. Although not quite as colorful. Another one of my favorites at any zoo, the red panda. Unfortunately, this adorable little guy is sleeping. And my camera doesn't want to focus through the fence, but you can see his cute little face. Oh, there is a second red panda. He's sleeping, but sleeping in an adorable pose. The next exhibit is the Oklahoma Trails. I guess it's all animals from Oklahoma. And it's going to be cool, that's why this is my first time ever in Oklahoma. I get to learn about all the wildlife. Look how cute this guy is. It's a swift fox. He is tiny, adorable. There's like a couple of them in here. And look how cute. Oh my gosh. They're tiny. That's like a size of a house cat. Kind of. Over here you have a sleepy bobcat. Very pretty animal. Hey guys, these are some of the stars of the zoo right now. They have three four-month-old mountain lion cubs that were orphaned, couldn't be returned to the wild, and they are adorable. You can see them playing and chasing each other. 
this is climbing on the trees and stuff. Aww. Look, baby. You see them? Next exhibit's got a couple white tailed deer. They're like the polar opposite of the super playful uh, mountain lion cubs, as these guys are just very relaxed. But they're very relaxed in a very large area, complete with windmill. Over here, you got a coyote way, way in the back. Oh, he's no longer in the back, he's coming up to the front. A big guy too. He's coming to say hello. He's fast, very fast. And there's a second one. You've got a big Thanksgiving turkey right here, complete with like the, the feathers out. That's really neat. Look at him. He is just posing. In this section, you've also got this really pretty aviary where Molly is sharing a pathway with that duck. But it's very, very pretty in here. Next section is in this big, giant barn. Guys, that's a lot of bats. It's like a horror movie level of bats. You got like a postcard worthy owl who just turned away. As far as weird looking animals go, they don't, they don't get much stranger than the possum. Look at his eyes. He's got like cartoony eyes. That big tail. So there's a general store that sells really, really weird sodas. Apple pie, key lime pie, coffee cake, buffalo wing, sweet corn, bacon, with or without maple syrup, birthday cake. Oh, goodness gracious. Mustard. Oh. <laughs> cool exhibit here for the prairie dogs. But unfortunately, they've got so many tunnels, they must be all underneath the ground right now. Except for this one cool looking guy. And the one right there. Yep. Oh, and then another one just popped out of a tunnel over here. Oh, no, these guys are cool. There's a squirrel up there, too. And they also have a squirrel friend. They do have a bison, which makes sense for an Oklahoma section of the zoo, and it's what a beautiful animal. I, I really wish it was closer, because it's so pretty and gigantic. Oh, what a cool animal. Awesomely gigantic exhibit here with a waterfall for the grizzly bears. We'll go get a closer look over there. Here's a closer look at the grizzly bears. Looks like this guy might be waking up. Or or move it to a different napping position. <laughs> then you got this one. It like, he really gives you the idea of how gigantic the uh, the grizzly bear is. I mean, these are humongous creatures. And he's going back to sleep. This is a weird one. Three toed M M Fumo. Very interesting looking animal. Little tiny arms. Turn the camera back on because this is a very, very long animal. Another set of feet in the back. Man, what a strange thing. This is also home to some black bears, and I, I love this guy here. Like, that is a bear that knows how to relax. You got another one over here as well. A bit of a disappointment to me, the otters are sleeping, and the uh, otters are some of my favorite animals. These are American river otters, and I love watching these guys play. They've got an awesome uh, lagoon here to play with, so uh, if you catch them awake, it's probably really neat. So there's no animals in this section, but there's a beautiful waterfall. Like, nice spot to get like a picture in front of, and a cool statue of otters. A salute to all nations, but mostly America. And uh, for an eagle too, like, ton of room over here for this guy. This is the most room I think I've ever seen in a zoo for an eagle. It's got to be up there with Dolly. I know Dollywood has a lot of room as well for their, their eagles, but this guy, that's a lot of room. Molly really enjoyed this sign about the black bears and how much they would eat. 
where the average human would eat four hamburgers a day, which was even kind of pushing it. If you're a black bear, you would eat 50 hamburgers. I also love the clip art of the bear with the giant fork. Got a couple of American alligators right here. And turkey noise from the cage next to them. So there's a stand here that sells chicken and waffles. That sounds amazing. I would totally go for some chicken and waffles, but I do not want to wait in that line. And just when you think a chicken and waffle stand couldn't get any better, they also sell beer. This big giant King Kong type statue welcomes you to the, uh, the ape section of the zoo. Ooh. As a fan of puns, I do enjoy their name or their gorilla area is the Great Escape. Uh huh? Yeah? The gorilla's standing up like these people. Look how cool that is. There he is. That is a big gorilla, guys. That's a very large animal. Beautiful looking, too. Holy cow. So it's feeding time for the gorillas. They're dropping some pellets and stuff in there. And you can see like the, the size difference between some of them is crazy. Like the big guy here and this smaller one. Ah, this is awesome. You got this big male gorilla in like full King Kong moment up at the top of his climbing structure. They've got a couple of orangutans. He's gonna move the towel. I think he's getting ready to go to sleep. And then there's one in this swing here you really can't see, except for its giant hand. New for 2019 here at the zoo, the orangutans are gonna get a new climbing structure. You can see it like half built now. Should be really cool when it's done. Also in the great ape escape, <laughs> the great escape area, as I so much love their pun, is a bunch of chimpanzees as well. The next exhibit is Island Life. So I love going to zoos and seeing animals I've never heard of before. And this guy is definitely one of them. This is a San Esteban Island Chukwala who can only be found in this one tiny, tiny little Mexican island. How cool is that? And he's hanging out here on top of a rock. So in the Island Life exhibit, you have a lot of smaller aquarium type features like these guys here, the yellow spotted climbing toads, including these guys who are climbing on each other's heads. But a lot of these kind of exhibits like uh, smaller snakes and lizards and frogs and stuff like that. Here you've got a kookaburra repping his brand. And a couple of ducks and stuff. Nah, I do enjoy the ducks. Interesting design here is there's a tree right in the middle of the building. Outside of the Island Life exhibit, you got a whole bunch of flamingos. Great shot here of the giant Galapagos tortoise right here up against the fence. I'm guessing he must like attention if he hangs out right near the where the people. So one more thing about the turtles, I just heard the tram goes by, and one of the turtles is named Miss B, and she is 110 years old. I don't think that's her, but uh, that's pretty crazy. So here's the lion exhibit, and uh, the lions are doing what lions do, and that is sleeping. My many rides on the Kilimanjaro Safari has taught me that they sleep like 20 hours a day. And they look very, very peaceful up there. The enclosure's pretty neat, though. I love the giant rocks. Now you can see the lions posing. It must be in between naps. So one cool thing they have at the zoo, they have like their animal treatment center with a viewing section. So if they're doing any sort of doctor stuff on the animals, you can watch. They've got treatment rooms, you know, radiology x-ray rooms, surgery rooms. It's really neat. They also have like their diet center where they prepare all the food for the animals. So a pretty neat uh, back of the house kind of thing that you get to come in here and watch. It's an African painted dog cuddle party. You get a great look at their ears, too. And the zebra is right up here near the people. Very pretty animal. Although it does look like there's only one zebra, so that's kind of odd. And it's <laughs> trying to scratch its something. 
Here is the Okapi. They have three of them. Uh, two in this exhibit, one in a different one. Really, really pretty animals as well. I have to turn the camera back on for the Okapi real quick because he's uh, right up here, super close. And these are normally animals with zoos. Normally they hang out farther back, but this guy, he's right up here next to the pathway. Come on, Darian. Playing with his tongue. Here is the Red River Hog with, with all the mud it could possibly want. Off in the distance over there, you can see a couple giraffes. Kind of weird because giraffes are gigantic animals, but with them being so far away, they don't look quite as big. Another adorable animal, they got the African crusted porcupines all the way sleeping in the back. They have at least three of them. You can sort of see his cute little face. Really, really weird meerkat habitat, but I love this guy hanging out on the log. You can see uh, another one over here playing around. But uh, this guy, he's my favorite. How cool is this? There's just a peacock hanging out. And uh, I guess up next is the Pachyderm building. So we're here in the Pachyderm house, which uh, for some reason doesn't have any Pachyderms, but has ostriches in it, and a lot of ostriches. And it's weird because you don't normally see them in an indoor setting. Um, you can tell this is definitely one of the older buildings at the zoo. Behind you, there's a, a whole bunch of different uh, bird exhibits. They definitely feel older. Some really, really nice birds in there, though. Look at how colorful these guys are. Guys, it's a pygmy hippopotamus going into the water. No, And in it goes. Here's that pygmy hippopotamus again. And I uh, gotta say, the outdoor exhibit they have for him, much, much nicer than the one inside. Uh, it's a lot bigger, looks much nicer. The pool looks a lot nicer. A funny looking guy. Look at those tusks. This little guy here is a golden lion tamarind, who I believe is easy, eating his own feces at this point. And also in here, unfortunately sleeping, is a sloth. Kind of interesting is it, where the guys, if they want to, they can go indoors or outdoors. <laughs> These guys, as the sad sign tells you, is a white naked crane. Another part of this uh, pachyderm house is very interesting because these guys are outside, but you're, you're viewing them from inside. And more birds. Look at the fuzzy alpacas. I'm beginning to think that this used to be the pachyderm house, and now the pachyderms got moved somewhere nicer. I believe that might have been what happened. Interesting, they still have pachyderm label outside the building, though. Now we got to catch the alpacas outside. Again, much like the hippopotamus, they have way, way more room outside. <laughs> and they're very happy to be outside. I love how fluffy they are. They look like they're stuffed animals. Guys, check out this really cool cornbill. Very, uh, very much reminds me of Zazu from Lion King. And I love his little hop. A couple of really, really cool cranes here. Uh, very much remind me of like Kung Fu Panda. Awesome animal. The zoo has a couple of camels, and uh, they do do camel rides. Uh, I guess kind of a controversial topic there. And uh, one thing Molly doesn't like that she just brought up is that all their camels, even though they're not doing camel rides right now, they're all suited up for you know camel riding. We should have off. <laughs> I guess they have an aquarium building. Got a couple of California sea lions, I think. That's what these guys are underwater viewing. You get to see him swim past. Here he comes. Two times. Whee! So the sea lions we saw, they're part of a show. You need tickets for it. They do it a couple times a day. And the guys we were looking at were not in the show arena. They were in this, this pretty good sized tank over here. You can see him swimming around up top. A small upcharge attraction here at the zoo is Stingray Bay. Go in there, pay a couple bucks, and you could uh, touch stingrays. The front left section of the zoo is kind of like upcharge alley because you got the stingrays, the sea lion show that all costs extra, as well as this lorikeet area. Now, there are some tickets you could buy that will include all of these things. 
Uh, if you buy just the cheap $11 one, it would not include any of this. But if you buy, I think, a $21 or $29 ticket, it will. Up next is the cat forest. I, I don't think Cody's are technically cats, but they're pretty, pretty adorable little creatures. Also, the cat forest so far, we just passed three exhibits. It's supposed to be home to like a fishing cat, a jaguar, and an ocelot, and there was nothing in any of them. How disappointing, because those, those are really neat animals. This guy here is a caracal. I think that's how you pronounce it. It's sleeping. It's got really cool ears. Barely see him up there, but there's a snow leopard sleeping. This guy is a Tayra. That's a, I, gotta, I think it's a new zoo animal for me. Apparently, it's a member of the weasel family. Here's one of Molly's favorite zoo animals. It's the tiger. These guys are Sumatran tigers, and they're sleepy. A little on the smaller side for tigers as well. Got one at the top of the hill napping. Also, awesome. a cute pose. Uh, Oklahoma Zoo does have a lot of tigers. This is the fourth one we've seen. The first one we've seen awake. Hey, he's looking right at me. Now that's that's kind of scary. If you've been coming to the Oklahoma City Zoo for a while, they have a nice museum all about the history of the zoo. <laughs> it all started with a deer to all sorts of stuff, showing off like a model of an old like. I'm guessing this is an old like ape exhibit. To buffaloes and. I'm guessing it's probably like an old water fountain. Neat. They do have a reptile house that is about a million degrees in here. And lots of kids. I'm not sure I'll stay in here very long, but if it, this kind of thing's your bag, uh, uh, there you go. So I love the, the carousels at the zoo because they always have weird animals on it. Okay, I think that's a sloth bear and a taper, a baboon. Uh, we got an ostrich, a bunch of elephants, a dolphin. I saw an otter on the other side. You've got an okapi. I think you've got a cassowary. Kevin! The, the Kevin-like bird. And also, the location of the castle is really cool, right here next to the lake. Yeah, okapi, a giant crane, more bears. Pretty neat carousel. Oh, and there's the otter. This very pretty section of the zoo is a butterfly garden. Love the, uh, the trees. Now, I believe it is listed as the OKC Zoo and Botanical Gardens, and you do get some parts of the zoo that are really, really pretty. I mean, it might also be the season we're going. We're here in April, but uh, there's a lot of very pretty tulips and uh, other places. That's weird. I don't really know plants. So the zoo is a bunch of these, and I love these, like the retro Moldomatic. Uh, for three bucks, they make a, a plastic souvenir right in front of you in that press thing. So that'll do it for our time here at the OKC Zoo. Um, overall, I really enjoyed it. I would say for me, I'd probably put it in my top 10 zoos in the country, but not in my top five. Uh, some of the big plus, the value you get. The zoo's only $11 to get in, and that's a really, really cheap price for a zoo, and especially one where we came in, we spent four hours. And if you're gonna do some of these shows, like if you're gonna go to some of these presentations or keeper talks, you could probably spend more time than that here. So I really enjoyed that. I love their elephant exhibit. That thing was wonderful. One of the best elephant exhibits out there at any zoo. Gigantic. Obviously, the breeding program's going great, so the babies are adorable. And I love the mountain lion cubs. Those guys were so, so cute. Amali, what were your thoughts on this place? Um, I agree. The elephant exhibit was amazing. Yeah. Uh, probably the biggest one that I've ever seen. So, yeah, San Diego's got a really big one as well, but this might be bigger. Yeah, I think this one might be a little bit bigger. Um, my cons, though, is that there is no good pathway. You backtrack a lot. Yes, it's a, you know, you can tell it's an older zoo and just sort of grew because it's, it's not an easy one to walk around in. It's nice that they do have the tram. Yes. Although it is an upcharge, but it's nice because if you uh, have difficulty walking or anything like that. <laughs> and uh, they do have some older, older exhibits yeah. here. Um, things like that pachyderm building, which doesn't feature pachyderms anymore, still is very, very old. But, you know, like all zoos, they have to, you know, build the new and then get rid of the old. Yes. And um, that'll do it for our time. Uh, if you're coming to the zoo, you're going to enjoy it. It's a great collection of animals. And they have giant, uh, lots of giant, giant enclosures. Yeah. Like, this zoo had so many big animal enclosures. I had a good time. If you got any questions, let us know in the comment section. Thanks for watching.